In this tutorial, we're going to practice making motion tweens by recreating the game called Pong. I've made the stage black, which you can do in properties here. And now I'm going to make a left stick, right stick and ball. I'm not going to make them simple straight away, because as you can see, Flash will tell me that I'll need to make them when I want them to motion tween, which I'll show you soon. I'm on the left stick layer, so I'm going to make the left stick first. I've got a gradient selected in the fill colour. So I'm going to make a simple left stick and curve the inside slightly. I'm now going to copy this and I'm going to go to right stick layer and paste it in. And then using the free transform tool, I'm just going to rotate that right around, like so. So I have a left stick and a right stick. Let's go to the left stick layer, and let's hide it, and make sure everything's on the right layer. Now we're going to go to the ball layer. I'm going to change this to a red gradient, and change the shape to an oval. And there's our ball. Okay, what I want to do now is start a motion tween. So I'm just going to select um, these three layers here. I'm going to hold down my mouse and then set a frame. And what this does, it means we can see all the objects we've made over 85 frames. Okay, let's start motion tweening. So I've selected the ball layer. The ball selected. I'm going to go insert motion tween. Now this is when flash CS4 will tell us we can't tween this unless we make the ball a symbol. So it's going to do it automatically for us. I'm going to press OK. And now the ball is in the library and it's a symbol. OK. Now I'm going to drag time to frame 15 and I'm going to move the ball with my move tool or black selection tool down here like so. At the same time, I would like the left stick to move down here to hit the ball or to, to simulate this. So I click on the left stick layer, insert motion tween. Again, Flash is asking me, you know, you need to convert the symbol before we can tween it. I'm going to move the stick down like so. Just bring the ball in here using my cursor keys. If I scroll time, now you can see we have a little uh, motion tween animation happening. Let's go to frame 30 and let's get this other stick working. Let's go to the ball layer though. So when it hits here, let's have the ball bouncing off to about here. Now let's go to the right stick. The right stick layer is now selected. And let's insert another motion tween, convert it to a symbol, and bring this part down like so. I'll just straighten that up. Alright. So now we have a little animation. Let's start here. The ball's moving. Both the sticks are moving. Like so. Let's do one more. At frame 45, the ball's going to rebound off um, to an another angle. And then the left stick, basically move this up here as well. Let's click back on the ball. Move the ball into the left stick. And maybe at the same time, the stick can just move up like so. So if we move time, the ball is hitting the left stick, bouncing off, hitting the right stick, and bouncing up and in the left stick. If we go to the control menu and press play, we can watch this. Um, let's look at test, test movie. And there you have it. So in this tutorial, we've made a simple Pong game so we can practice making motion tweens.